can babies really read by the time they are three years old or before they even go to kindergarten? Absolutely. I'm going to teach you how to do that today. In today's video, we're going to go over phase one, which is for ages zero to one years old. So let's just hop into the information. All right, so I'm going to go in order of what I think is important to introduce first. So we're going to start in the very beginning when they are newborns until they're about six months old. You're going to be building this foundation of interest in reading. So you have to do that by actually reading a book. Okay, read to them every every single day and make it nice and cozy. Make it expressive with your facial expressions, with your hand movements. Make them feel like this is the best, most interesting part of the day. I read in a book called Super Baby that you should aim for 12 books a day. Now the reason why this recommendation is really great is because Babies need to hear a lot of words in order to develop their language skills. That includes talking as well as being interested in communication through the written word, through reading it. So you can aim for 30,000 words a day. And if you are a subscriber of mine, you have heard me say 30,000 words a day 30,000 times. Okay, it is the number to aim for each day for your baby to hear that many words in order to help encourage their language skills and development. If you are not subscribed, now's a good time to subscribe so you can get into all the lingo, okay? Be a part of the crew. The introduction of sight words. Now, one of the reasons why I think introducing sight words is the next step is because it is concrete before the abstract. We already have shown them books, and while you're reading the book, make sure you are also using your finger as you read each word to go across the word. Pretend my hand is a book right now, okay? <laughs> They now can see a connection between you speaking the word and the word on the page. So using sight words brings that connection to the next step. It's concrete. When you show them the word dog, that's what that word means. When those abstract letters of a D and an O and a G are together in that particular order, it says dog. I think this is the next best step for this particular age group. I would say something different for an older child, but for a baby, sight words are my first thing. I do it three times a day. Now here's a tip on how you can stay consistent because consistency is key. Okay, you want to keep your sessions very, very short. It shouldn't take you more than 10 minutes out of the entire day to do this three times. Not 10 minutes per time, right? 10 minutes total. It shouldn't take any more than that. Honestly, you could probably do it in less than five minutes. You just want to make sure that it is a small amount of time you are just going over five words three times a day. For a week, use those same words. Three times a day, five words for one week before switching to the next set of words. For, and, at, be, are. All right, and one of the secrets that I use in order to stay consistent is to put these words in the kitchen because at mealtime, breakfast, lunch, dinner, that's when you can bring it out. Even if your baby, obviously under six months old, is not eating yet, you know, you can start to bring this out when you are eating lunch. Now, sight words to me are best to start when the baby is around six months old. You can start earlier, it's not gonna hurt, but I like doing it for around six months old because of this. It makes it so much easier for me as a parent to stay consistent and bring it out when the food is being brought out at the same time. They'll be sitting in a high chair, they're attentive, there isn't any other distractions, you won't have the TV on, you won't have music on, it would just be you and the baby face to face and they can just go over the sight words. Please don't do it while they're actually hungry and 
you know, starving for their food, wait until they had a couple of bites and now you have a little bit of a pause. Go ahead and show them those five sight words and then go back to eating the food. That's it. That's it. Three times a day. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dove, which one says look? Grab it in? Yeah, go ahead. Look. B. R. A. Which, okay, hold on, hold on. Which one says B? Which one says B? That one? B. Mm-hmm. What the, what says at? At. Which one says at? Oh, that one? Also with these words, I like to use a space repetition system. That's the way that adults learn really well. This is also useful for babies and toddlers. Their brain is growing so rapidly, they absorb things with their unconscious, absorbent mind. So they can catch on to things much more quickly than me for sure. The next really important thing that I like to introduce, and I like to introduce it around the same time, somewhere between, you know, zero to six months old, is American Sign Language, ASL. Sign language expedites communication for babies. Now you can use your sign language in order to help your baby actually be able to sign back that they know the word you have shown them on the flashcard. That's right, so if there's the word ball on the card, you can sign ball. If the word more is on the card, you can sign more, right? So they'll know that more and ball and the actual written words and what's coming out of your mouth represents the same thing. Make sure obviously when you're holding the real object to say the word ball. So they're gonna make all of these beautiful connections. All you have to do is just say it. The easiest way that I learned American Sign Language to teach my children was through watching Baby Signing Time and Signing Time series. Absolute easiest thing, the number one thing, the only thing that I actually needed to learn it. I would sit with my children and watch it with them when they were babies. I found it, it was easy. It was our only screen time when they were little babies. Phonemes. Okay, so there are about 44 phonemes in the English language. Right, different from the 26 letters, and I'll talk about those in a second. But these are the sounds that make up the English language that we have, right? They include the digraphs like shh, right? Or uh, just basic letter sounds like ah. These are all a part of our phonemes that we have to learn in order to support early language skills. So what you wanna do is make sure you are paying very close attention to introducing these sounds, right? These individual sounds to your baby along with understanding letter sounds. So I know I said in another video, you wanna teach your baby letter sounds. And I just wanna expand upon that point right now because it's not just the individual sounds of 26 letters. You're also talking about the digraphs like I just gave you the example as well. You need to teach those as well, like sk. That's really important. So you want to make sure you're paying attention to all, of, all 44 of those sounds and teaching those 44 sounds to your baby. In the description box below, I'm gonna leave a video linked to the actual uh, phone memes and how you can pronounce them so you can make sure that you're covering all of them when you are showing and sharing these sounds with your baby. One of the ways that I like to introduce this part, uh, this concept, is by actually putting together things that have that same sound and really emphasizing that sound and also showing a flashcard with letters that make that sound. So I try to do all of those things and just, they really do bring it together. So I, I love teaching babies to read or teaching reading at this young age because I feel like it's an easier introduction than later on. Now with teaching these letter sounds, uh, you can actually put them onto flashcards as well and do five sounds three times a day. So go ahead and just place those together with your sight words that you had, right? So now instead of showing them just five cards at one time, you're showing them 10 cards, but three times a day. It should not take you 
five minutes or 10 minutes even per session to show 10 cards. Honestly, that's probably less than a minute. So these are really, really short exercises that if you consistently do them over time, they compound, right? Think of the compound effect. You, you're you building it up, right? It grows and then all of a sudden, you hit a point where there's exponential growth. Well, you'll notice that they can actually read and put together words, they're sounding out words, they get it. So this is these are really important things to understand, consistency. Now when teaching the actual letter names, I put this as secondary. I'll just use a chart and I show them each letter as I sing the regular alphabet song. And that has honestly been the only real way that I needed to first introduce my babies to the names of the letters because that isn't my main concern. Since they aren't spelling yet, I want them to first learn how to read and then we'll get into the spelling. But you know what, babies are super brilliant and they pick it up and they understand that the letter F says if you do it this way, they will totally understand it and get it. It's okay for your baby to make mistakes. If you are playing matching games with their cards and they make mistakes or they just want to eat the card, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Remember, it's a marathon. And please, no more than 10, maximum, absolute maximum 15 minutes out of the entire day. Right now, your baby has so many other skills they are develop developing that's actually harder for them to learn than for them to recognize and remember and put together letter sounds and sight words. They are super brilliant at that, but you know, they're still learning how to use their hands. They're, they're learning gross motor skills, five motor skills. They're learning independence. Uh, there's so much going on. They are little baby scientists and they're testing gravity. So please give them more time to develop those skills. This actually does not take as much time out of your day to do doing all the drilling and stuff. You don't need to do that for a really young baby. You just need to bond with them, be really sweet, take about one minute, and honestly, you can see amazing results. Please like and share this video. I'm gonna be doing the second phase soon and I can't wait to show you, you know, all the fun and interesting things that I'm gonna continue to do with my children and continue to share this journey of super mom life, not perfect mom, super mom, uh, with you guys. So definitely take a chance to check out the early education playlist that I have here if you are new to this channel or if you've missed any videos in the past and I will see you in the comment section.